Hi everyone, today we are going to see a ratio problem which is more likely uh, applicable for grade 5 and grade 6 as well. In a club, the ratio of the number of adults to the number of children is 12 is to 7. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 3 is to 2. If there are 42 girls, how many members are there altogether? There is two levels of ratio used here, but this question is quite simple. It's deceptively simple because it looks a bit difficult, but it can be easily solved. Why? Because we know one quantity or one item here, which is the number of girls. We know that there are 42 girls here, and that ties us with this ratio, boys is to girls, is 3 is to 2. So we are going to start from here. Boys is to girls, the ratio is given as 3 is to 2. So girls have 2 units because it says 2, right? Boys is to girls. So boys correspond to 3 and girls correspond to 2. So girls have 2 units and boys have 3 units. Now, if there are 42 girls, so they have just given away the answer here. This two units here is 42. So once we know that these are equal sized units of the same size, right? They are uh, equal sized units. So if these two units are 42, then what will be the value of one unit here? So two unit is equal to two units are equal to 42. So one unit will be 42 divided by 2. So that gives us 21. So we know that if this unit is 21, each of these units will also be 21 because they are of the same size, right? Now we have the number of boys and the number of girls. Now, our, for the next level, we will need the number of children here. So, boys plus girls, how many are there? Boys plus girls, in total, we have one, two, three, four, five units, and we know each unit is 21. So, five times 21, that is 105. We've solved the first part of the puzzle. Basically, if you look at it, it's the second part of the puzzle. We are going backwards in this case. So we move on to the first part now. The ratio of the number of adults to the number of children is 12 is to 7. So adults will have 12 units. Children, who comes second, will have 7 units. So adults is 12 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm just double checking it. So adults have uh, 12 units and children has 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units here, right? But we have one information already that we have figured out. That is children. The number of children is 105. This is the result we got from the previous working that we did, right? So now the 7 units here is equal to 105. So the same, these are equal size units and there are 100 and the total value is 105. So seven units is equal to 105. So one unit will be equal to 105 divided by seven, which is 15. So we know that each of these units here is 15. So the question here states, how many members are there all together? So it includes the adults and the boys and the girls. Right? So to find this, we just have to add up the total number of units that we have for adults with the total number of units for children. So adults is equal to 12 units that we have seen here, and each unit is 15. So 12 units will be 12 times 15, which gives us 180. We already know that the number of children is 105. So children, adults plus children is equal to 180 plus 105, 
which gives us 285. So that's the solution. So initially, this, when you read this question, you, it might look a bit complex because there are two ratios involved. But as I said earlier, this is deceptively simple because uh, one of the quantity is known here for us. So from there, we can slowly go from here to here and then solve this issue, solve this problem. Hope this is clear. Any doubts, please uh, put it in the comment section. And next we solve the same problem using algebra. If you are not for going to go for algebra, if you're going to drop out and if you like the video, do like the video. Share it with your friends. Thank you. So again, just for uh, those who did not look at the previous section, came straight to the algebra section. In a club, the ratio of the number of adults to the number of children is 12 is to 7. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 3 is to 2. If there are 42 girls, how many members are there altogether? As again, there, what we know is the number of girls we know, 42. And here is the ratio where girls is involved. So we can use that. As, we can use this as our starting point. Boys, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 3 is to 2. So boys is 3. See, boys comes first. Boys unit is 3 units of 3x. In algebra, we always go with 3 times x because this x can be any value which we are not sure. But we know that there are three groups of x here for the boys. That is what this 3 is to 2 means. And for the number of girls, should be 2x. Right? And you know that when you say a ratio, they are equal sized. Uh, this 3 and this 2, whatever they are, they are equal sized. And they are multiples of x in this case. So 2x, which is the number of girls, is equal to 42. That is given information. So from that, we know that x is equal to 42 divided by 2, which is 21. So we have found the value of x. So if you want to find out how many boys and girls are there all together, boys plus girls is equal to 3x plus 2x, 3x plus 2x, which is equal to 5x. And x value is 21. So this is equal to 5 times 21, which is 105. Now, since we know the children, the total number of children from this, we can go to the previous or the first uh, statement that is here. The ratio of the number of adults to the number of children, which includes boys and girls, is 12 is to 7. So adults will have 12y. We, I'm using y. I could have used x, but just to avoid confusion because we used x here, I'm using y here. So adults is 12y and children is 7y because the ratio is 12 is to 7 and here it mentions adults to the number of children. Adults comes first so adults is 12 uh, and uh, children is 7. Now what we know here is the number of children we have already figured out here. Boys plus girls is equal to 105 so children 7y should be equal to 105. So y is 105 divided by 7, which is equal to 15. Now we need to find out adults plus children. The question says, how many members are they all together? So we need to add up these two. So adults plus children is equal to 12y plus 7y, which is equal to 19y. So, and you know that y value we have figured out here, y is equal to 15. So this is equal to 19 times 15, which is 285. So that is the total number of members that are there. I uh, hope this was clear. This is a quite simple problem. 
And I believe uh, you will not have difficulties in understanding this. Please let me know your feedback. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you want to watch more of these videos, subscribe to my channel and also remember to click on the notification icon so that you will receive uh, videos that I upload in the future. Thank you. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye.